It's a habit for most of us to buckle up while we're driving. But what about when we ride in the rear seat of someone else's car or use Uber or Lyft? The Institute survey found that full-time belt use is lower in the rear seat. And that's especially true for people who primarily get around by taxi or ride hailing service. Less than 60% of people who said they frequently take taxis or use ride hailing services said they always wear their belt. People who reported buckling up less often were asked for their reasons. A quarter of respondents said they believe the rear seat is safer, so using a belt there is unnecessary. If you're not belted in the rear, you're putting yourself at risk, and you're also putting other people in the vehicle at risk. People belted in the front seat can be injured or killed by unbelted occupants in the rear flying forward in a crash. We recently conducted a test to show what can happen when there's a crash and the person in the back is unbuckled. In a simulated 35 mile per hour impact, the unbelted dummy slams into the back of the driver's seat, pushing the driver dummy into the deploying airbag and steering wheel. Drivers are twice as likely to be killed in crashes when the occupant behind them is unrestrained. All but one state requires adult front seat occupants to use safety belts, but rear seat passengers are covered by laws in only 29 states and DC. Only 20 have primary enforcement, which means a police officer can stop the motorist for the seat belt violation alone. Stronger laws would help, but technology could also boost belt use. Studies show that persistent belt reminders are effective at getting front seat occupants to buckle up. These systems are common for the front seat of new vehicles, but few vehicles sold in the U.S. have belt reminder systems for the rear seat. Although safety belts are proven to save lives, more than half of the people who die in passenger vehicle crashes in the U.S. are unbelted. 